Please welcome with me, Corey Rodriguez.
smell check. That's what people need to do with their jeans. People don't wash their jeans often enough. You know that, right? People wash their jeans like once a month, maybe. Right? Yeah. Oh, uh, what? You do too. Shut up. You don't wash them every time. Nasty lady. Ah! People never wash their freaking jeans. are gross. Right? You ever not washed your jeans and it's been a long time and then you smell the butt and you're like, who's wearing my jeans? <laughs> the ass on these jeans is rotten! This can't be me! Jeans hide dirt like a winter coat. When's the last time you wash your winter coat? Never! People lose their winter coat before they wash it. Like, I don't know what happened to it. I just lost it for like two years. It's the dirtiest item of clothing you have, that freaking winter coat. Snotty sleeves. I don't care how clean you are, at some point you'll be like, you did that at some point. You ever see an adult dude with just a streak of dry scot on his sleeve? Yeah, oh, look at your jackets when you leave them. Why we're on the note of washing things? Listen, I know it's going to get uncomfortable, but I don't care. I have to say this. Ladies, listen to me. You always complain about the way guys' balls smell. Your balls stink. <laughs> Maybe not all guys, I'm just saying, I've heard this before. <laughs> one of my friends because their balls stink. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, women are always complaining. Your balls stink. You know what stinks? Underneath your breasts, it stinks. <laughs> you know why it stinks? Because you don't wash your bras. Wash your freaking bras! You wash your bras like jeans. Never! Wash them! <laughs> Hanging it on the back of the door is not an air freshener. Watch your bra. You're always wondering why. You're like, oh my god, guys, you stuff for the nipple. They never appreciate the whole thing. That's because it stinks under there. It smells like an old sponge. What are you watching? Don't go for the bra on the back of the door. Go for the one in your draw if you're meeting a new guy. Be like, let me get a fresh new bra. Don't get the one that's comfortable. You've been wearing to work all week. They only wash their bra if they sweat. They're like, I didn't sweat for the last month, so I didn't wash it. They're not that sturdy. I didn't want to ruin it, so I didn't wash it. Like, no, you should wash it. We can smell it. You should wash it. Talk about how gross. There's all this myth. Guys are so gross. How gross are women? You'll never see a dude that wins an underwear twice. Maybe you will, but that's nasty. Most of us will change our underwear. Because we probably shit on ourselves. But anyway, I know it's for TV. Maybe they'll edit that out. Maybe they won't. I was going down that road and I had to say it. I was just so far down the line. I didn't mean to go there with it. I don't know. Shut up, let me move on. I don't have much time here. I want to make more money. I want to make enough money that like, if you borrow money from me and you don't pay me back, we can still be friends. That's how much money. Right now, if you borrow money from me and you don't pay it back, you can borrow $35 from me and don't pay it back and we're not friends anymore. <laughs> like, you can call me up like, yo, you gonna come to your nephew's birthday? I'm like, listen, bro, $35 is $35. <laughs> you ever hear one of your friends give somebody money and you're like, how much money does this do we have? You ever hear one of your friends, he's like, yo, man, I let that dude borrow like $8,000. He ain't paid me back yet. I'm gonna let him give me one more time and that's it. And the whole time I'm like, this dude got eight thousand dollars again. I can't even hear the rest of the conversation. The whole rest of the time I just hear, if you need money, just come to me and I'll give it to you. I'm like, I'm better friends with him. I can get fifteen thousand from this guy. I'll say this last thing before we get out of here. This will be a quick one for TV. All right, ready? For you, you look like me. You look like you got kind of longer balls, like I do. <laughs> You got those long balls. It happens at a certain age. That's what happened to me. Listen, I'm 36. At some point, I don't know what happened, but I went to the mirror and I pulled out my underwear. And they just, they just fell. I know it's not appealing. I know you're like, ew, but it happens. There's a lot of dudes sitting next to me with long ass balls right now. It's a very embarrassing thing. Women are always complaining, and my arm. Well, us, our ball. What happened? It's so unflattering. And then you get in trouble every time the woman thinks we're so sexual as a man. You can't do anything. You ever try to fix yourself as a dude? You just reach in your pocket, you're like, oh god, you just adjust it. And then looking at you like, what are you doing playing with yourself? Are you playing with yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm jerking off in the middle of the street right now. Right now, yeah, I'm stuck to my lane. It took me to get older to realize that this move that dudes do when you get stuck. I had a science teacher and he used to walk up and out of the classroom all the time. And this is what he would do. He would always walk around, he'd go like this every once in a while. Right? I got old enough, like, oh, he had sticky balls, that's why he was doing that. <laughs> hey, you guys been a lot of fun, Corey, my friends. Thank you guys. Corey, my friends.